located on the campus of Auburn University. On game days, it's the fifth largest city in Alabama. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. The kicker's got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. Excellent kick. He's to the 20. He's tackled at the 22. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. Tackle at about the 31. Call it a gain of nine yards. That brings up second and one. From their own 31 yard line, it's second down. He gets to about the 41 yard line. Maybe after a nice run like that, you try to go up in the air for the play action pass. Counter to the left. They'll bring him down at the 50 yard line. Field. Second down. He fights forward to about the 49. So the ball carrier only gets about a yard, but it's good enough to move the sticks. Another good run from this running back. Let's see if he continues to get his carries as they continue with this drive. side he's at the 40 that's a great tackle at the 38 yard line you know that saying get your keys out because we're on a drive this offense right now is on a drive I mean it, this is their third first down they're doing just about anything they want and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down from the 38 yard line it's first down And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. Well, the question now is, how will they respond after losing a couple on that run? That brings up second and 13. From the 40-yard line, it's second down. Got it out to his tight end. And they make the stop at about the 11. Well, they found some seams in the coverage there. Let's see if the defense makes any adjustments to counter. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 11-yard line. Big opening! And they get nice yardage on that run. That's a game of seven on the play. That makes it second and two. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. Get up, get up, get up! A little handoff. Touchdown! Auburn! 
Oh, that's a great job of some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight, and it's tough to maneuver. And he tacks on the extra point. A nine-play, 78-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. And Brad, right now, the offensive line just winning the battle in the trenches, opening up some big running runs. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Hurricanes offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks. But the thing that I've really recognized is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Knocked out of bounds at the 24. He's going to go for the home run. The defender had it and then dropped it. Very stern effort there by the defense. They weren't giving up anything on that series. Tackle made at the 38. Returned for a gain of two yards. The last time we saw this offense on the field, they drove the length of the field. And you think back to what that defensive coordinator tried to do. He tried to change some things up, but nothing seemed to work. It's going to be interesting to see how he can have an impact on this drive. He's hit and got away. To the 10. Touchdown. Big play. Wow, he looked like a running back out there. And that's just what you want when you're calling the option. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. He's under pressure. Passes back across his body, but nobody there. Number four was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second. Second down and ten to go. Ball on their own 25. He's to the 40. He's taken down around the 43-yard line. There was good pressure coming in, but he stood his ground and found his teammate for a nice game. That makes it first and 10. Two times, two times. Run up the middle. 
to be a four on the play. That makes it second and six. From their own 47-yard line, second down. Pulls it in, and he's in the open field. That'll be a gain of three yards. You know, this veteran wide receiver is not always easy to stop. So that's a good job here by the defense to slow him down. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Gets to about the 47-yard line. Game three on the play. First down. It's our field. It's our field. Hey, it's our house. My five. My five. Green. Green 95. Green 95. Quick pass, and he's right there to knock it away. We had a great play by the linebacker, but let me tell you, as a quarterback, you almost rather throw against man-to-man -man coverage than evaluate zone defense. And here, I think this zone defense, I think the linebacker snuck up, and I don't even know if he saw him before he threw the football. Gets it. He's in space. Well, that's the beauty of running play action against zone coverage. In man, the defender has his eyes on the guy he's covering. But in zone, the defender's looking right at the quarterback. That's why that play action worked so well for a first down. They weren't sure if it was a run or a pass. This is the eighth play of this drive. And they got him for a loss. Number 23 was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From the 36-yard line, it's second down. Throws complete, and he's hit right away. Number 26 with the tackle at the 30-yard line. That'll bring up third and four. This is the tenth play of this drive. Steps out at the 28. Getting a two on the play. That'll make it fourth and two. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. And this is what power football is all about, folks. Let's go. Brought down at the 25-yard line. Gain of three yards. That makes it first and ten. We're at the twelfth play of the drive. And down he goes at the twenty-three yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From the twenty-three yard line. Second down. Mike five, Mike five. Set, run, 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 run. He fights forward to about the 20. Makes the tackle. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it third and five. And here's the 14th play of the drive. White out here truly knows what he has to do to contribute to make his team successful.
and he hits the PAT. It was a 14 play, 77 yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. So our score 14 7. And he's tackled at the 15. Auburn staff was talking all week long that this offense wanted to get off to a strong start, and they have. They have. They talked about building that momentum early in the game and then trying to be able to hold on into the second half, where they've gotten off to a great start so far. And offense is back on the field after running the ball very well on their last drive. This offensive line really opened up some big gaps for the running back last time. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good-looking ball carrier. Auburn is up seven. <laughs> Tackle made at the 43-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43-yard line. He's got the corner. Tackle at the 44. That makes it first and 10. They get him in the backfield for a loss. That is a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 45. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Throws in a hurry. And that one's incomplete. Not a great throw by the quarterback, but to be fair, that was pretty good coverage. Third down. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Check 59. Right down. And he hits him hard at the 32-yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball in the 32. Auburn is up a score. They'll work the right side, and there's nothing going there. Call it a loss of one yard. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11 yards to the sticks. Ball on the 33-yard line. Slings it out there incomplete. I know this quarterback trusts his arm and his receivers, but he's got to know when not to throw the ball. He didn't have any room at all, and he's lucky it wasn't intercepted. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. Fires it quickly. It's knocked away, incomplete. Number 59 breaks it up. Fourth down. It's a fake. 
He's tackled at about the 13. We've got a change in the quarterback position. Got to wonder how that's going to affect this offense. I would think the offensive coordinator and the head coach are just going to try to ease him into this game at the beginning. From the 13-yard line, first down. Auburn is up by a touchdown. Nice run there. Makes the tackle. Call it a gain of five yards. That makes it second and six. Here's the 12th play of the drive. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Five yards there for the quarterback. That'll make it third and one. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Throws quickly into the end zone. Caught for the touchdown. Be a big boost you always want to capitalize on these short yardage situations and that pass was an excellent call he splits the uprights with the extra point a 13 play 85 yard drive and they come away with seven points. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Boy, the two offensive coordinators have to be loving this. In fact, you can look over at our booth next to us and see how much they're enjoying it with the big smile on their face. The defensive coordinators, on the other hand, might be looking for a pink slip on Monday. The quarterback is on his way back onto the field, and he led a great drive last time out. And he's taken down around the 27-yard line. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From their own 27-yard line, it's second down. Goes down quickly. Gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and four. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. Excellent open field tackle. Score that round for the defense. These guys are flying around right now. We played one quarter. Auburn in front, 21-7. And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set to start the second quarter. Booming kick. He's out to the 30. He's got the corner. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. They keep it on the ground with a tailback. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Almost intercepted there. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. Larry, Larry. Eat it up. Check 
Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. They'll bring him down at about the 43-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 43. And he's tackled around the 41-yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Pitches back. He's at the 30, and they make the stop at the 24. From the 24-yard line, it's first down. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. That's a gain of one on the play. That brings up second and nine. Makes it to the 22-yard line. That's good for a gain of one yard. That'll bring up third and eight. And so it's another third down upcoming here. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. First down. So inside the five with a first and goal. Got to be careful of a pass play with this defense. He's taken down at the two-yard line. No gain. That brings up second and goal. And this is the tenth play of the drive. Down around the one yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it third and goal. From the one yard line, it's third down. This defense not wanting to give an inch. Touchdown, Auburn! Once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. Yeah, he has a lot of freedom to make plays like that, and he can do it because of his athletic ability. The coaches recognize that, and it's proven to be successful. And he adds the extra point. Auburn is lining up to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Here's
It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. And down he goes at about the 31. Gain of six yards. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. the middle for a nice game Lost the tackle. that's a gain of six on the play that makes it first and ten halfback's got it on the quick throw Tackle made at the 50. I really don't think this play is going to work if the linebacker doesn't take the bait on the play action. That opened up the room that the offense needed for the first down. From the 50, first down. Runs outside for a nice game. Call it a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. Cut and left, cut and left. Three down, three down. 46 is right there. Check in, check in. Right. 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 Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at the 37 yard line. Gain of six on the play. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 37. Three down, three down. Fires the mic. Fires the mic. He's got it out to his tight end. These tackles around the 30 yard line. Number 15 on the tackle at the 30 yard line. That'll bring up second and three. Makes the grab and steps out right away. Superb effort by the receiver to come down with that ball. Well, this comes down to the timing between the quarterback and the receiver. And the result, again, a nice play for the offense. From the 19-yard line, it's first down. He's hit and taken down. What a play. Boy, solid job there by the quarterback, recognizing the defensive coverage and delivering the ball to the open receiver. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. He makes it out to maybe the seven-yard line. No game. That brings up second and goal. We've got second and goal. Seven yards for the touchdown. And they get nice yardage on that run. This is the 11th play of this drive. The short yardage defense here. zone for the touchdown. These guys don't get tense down by the end zone. Sometimes a young quarterback will make a silly mistake or a receiver will come down with a case of stone hands, but not with this group. And he tacks on the extra point. An 11 play, 76 yard drive, and they get it in for seven. An amazing drive for this offense, outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. Taken from the three yard line, looking for the corner, and he makes it out to about the 27 yard line.
Well, they got the result you always want on the last drive. Let's see if it happens again. So much of the passing game is about the timing between the quarterback and his wide receivers. Right now with this offense, they are in sync, and really the timing and execution is flawless. From their own 32 yard line. Second down. He gets out to about the 32 yard line. Third down. Fires complete over the middle, and he's tackled right away. From their own 40-yard line, first down. He's at midfield, gains his way to the 43-yard line. From the 43 yard line. First down. Big opening. He's at the 30. And he is drilled at the 23 yard line. First and ten, ball on the 23. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. You know, these backwards plays can have a psychological impact. It can damage a team's confidence if it keeps happening. From the 24-yard line, it's second down. On play action, defense coming, and he almost has the INT. They'll look to convert here on another third down. Sheds a tackler. That's incomplete. Number one was the intended receiver on the play. That brings up fourth and 11. It's up, looks long enough, and he nails the long field goal. And he's got to be happy about that kick. Oh, no question. This kid is just a solid kicker. 31-14, Auburn. Auburn to kick. He just drills this one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Hurricanes, quarterback, Kirk, he has done his job. Unfortunately, there's 22 guys on a team, and one guy's doing a great job. The other 21 aren't so much. Yeah, it's not going uh, the way they had hoped or planned. Right now, you're right. The quarterback's doing what he needs to do to be able to move the ball. But uh, the, the running backs, the wide receivers, the offensive line, the entire group, they've got to do a better job. Right now, 
you look at that scoreboard, they've got to be really frustrated to think that they're down. Now, they still have time to get back in the game, and we'll see if they can adjust their mental mindset. Quarterback stats are one thing. Winning the game is what's more important. From their own 23-yard line, second down. Throws this one away. Turn right, turn right. Two down, two down. Mike five, Mike five. Here we go. That's a great tackle at the 32. to the 40 and he makes it out to about the 47 yard line Auburn's done what they had to do offensively they've done a nice job here in the first half partner boy it's been very consistent for them and consequently they have a nice lead here going into halftime but again they've got to be able to do a nice job here of continuing to fight because this offense that they're facing across the line of scrimmage on the other side of the ball they can score in a hurry so still a lot of football to be played things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half these next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. And he's immediately tackled. From the 36-yard line. It's first down. And he throws right away. And he can't hang on to it. This quarterback has got to do a better job of looking off defenders and allow his covered receivers some room to improvise and get free. Taken down right around the 16 yard line. From the 16 yard line, first down. Throws it into coverage, and it's intercepted. And he hits him hard at the 17-yard line. There you go. If you're going to come back in this game, it's going to start with one play. And maybe that pick is what turns things around for you. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. So it's second and ten. Ball on their own 17. And they got him. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Takes it right, he can't get back to the line. So we've played two quarters. Auburn in front, 
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. The paper, the stats, all the previews say this game should be even. It's not even at halftime. In fact, it looks as if this squad just got pushed around. They got bullied out there in the first half. Uh, one team's playing big boy football, the other team's playing peewee football. I mean, it's definitely been, it's been surprising to watch, but at some point, you just gotta man up. I mean, you gotta say enough's enough, and, and you gotta respond because you had opportunities in the first half, and every single opportunity, big boy football kept winning. And some, you got the little guys gotta make a play. I mean. You can only get pushed around so much and, and not respond to it. And right now, it's just been disappointing to watch. Just about set to start the second half. What are you looking for? I I'm looking to see which team has that decided schematical advantage. And if they can find it, they'll blow holes three or four axe handles wide. Brad and Kirk will be there to call the second half. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Throws complete and he's hit right away. That's a gain of seven on the play. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. High five, high five. Here we go. The defender had it and then dropped it. They'll bring him down at the 24. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. And he's tackled right around the 32-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's to the 40. Makes it out to about the 43. the stop at the 46. It's second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 46 yard line. Mike, Mike, Mike 
He laterals. Decent run here, right side. That's good for a gain of four yards. That'll bring up third and two. two-yard line. First and ten. Ball on the 32. He'll get the call again. There's a very impressive open field tackle. Gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. at the 20 and down he goes around the 16 yard line the offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed they're not in a hurry but they're very very methodical and very consistent with their approach that's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive we've got a first and 10 ball on the 16 he's taken down at the 15 We're at play number nine of this current drive. Tackle at the 16-yard line. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat. It's a snap of the ball. Here's third and nine. Ball on the 16-yard line. Three down, three down. Check 59, Mike. Mike, Mike, Mike. They'll bring him down at about the three-yard line. This is the 11th play of this drive. Short burst for the score. That's what happens when you can win the war in the trenches down near the goal line. He splits the uprights with the extra point. It was an 11 play, 75 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brad, that's one of those drives that can just tear your heart out. It can really demoralize a defense when they drive the ball down the field, and a lot of the yards came on the ground. So the score now. 38-14. Excellent kick. He's got the corner. Knocked out of bounds at the 19. The Hurricanes are just falling apart in this quarter. I mean, are there any positives you can even use to motivate the team right now? Well, as bad as it looks and feels right now, there's still over a quarter of football to be played. You just got to forget about the mistakes, try to get a little bit of momentum created, and get confidence back in this quarterback being able to make plays for it. Their last drive resulted in a punt, so let's see if they can put together something a little more promising here. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Just throws this one away. It's second and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. He 
throws it away. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. Number one was the intended receiver on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. Gets out to about the 48-yard line. It's been a fun night for this running back. Well, he is a great example for young running backs to follow. He is running north and south. He's not wasting any time dancing around or running east and west. Young backs, pay attention to this. Get upfield and get as many yards as you can. He's helped to put his team in a winning position, so let's see if he can keep that up or if the defense can contain him here. It's early in this game, so the defense can still have an opportunity to make some adjustments. But if things don't turn around in a hurry, it's really going to start to affect the psyche of that defensive line. He's tackled at the 48-yard line. That's a loss of play. That makes it second and 14. From their own 48-yard line, second down. Got a receiver and he dropped it. Number four was the intended receiver on the play. Third down. Double tight, guys. Double tight. Four down. Four down. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike yeah. Is 59. Rosen, watch out. Oh, almost had a pick. Now it's going to be fourth down. Nice defense. That was picture perfect three and out. Good series for these guys. It's away, and it's a booming punt. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. And he's going to come up with a sack. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. I'd be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. From their own 18-yard line. Second down. He gets rid of this one. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. Green pass gets it to the back. Fumble. The defense falls on it. Good hustle there by the D lineman. It's often an overused term when referring to defensive linemen, but that's what they mean when they talk about a guy has a motor that's running. He never quit and he played to the whistle. So a big momentum shift could be in the making here as we take a look at the possible fumble. So the question here is whether or not his knee hit the ground before the ball came out. After review of the play, the ruling on the field is reversed. 
So the call on the field will be reversed. Booming kick. And he's tackled at the 49. Their last drive ended in a punt, so this quarterback's going to be looking for something better on this drive. Tackle made at about the 49. No gain on the play. That brings up second and nine. From their own 49-yard line, second down. Check 59, Mike. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. And he's tackled after positive yardage. A gain of five on the play. That'll bring up third and four. and he's taken down around the 38-yard line. That's good for a gain of eight yards. First down. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 38-yard line. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. From the 26 yard line, first down. And he makes it out to about the 24 yard line. Call it a gain of two yards. That makes it second and eight. From the 24 yard line, it's second down. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That makes it third and seven. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. Watch one, watch one. Pick it up, pick it up. Pick it up. Say, say, hey. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's tackled at the 17-yard line. Gain of six yards. Fourth down. Fourth down. They'll call on the field goal unit here. It's up. And it's good. Auburn lines up for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. I hope they show some fight here and try to stay competitive. If you're going to get blown out, you at least want to go down swinging. Steps out of bounds at the 28-yard line. Gain of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 28-yard line.
They go with the screen here, and the halfback's got it. And they make the stop around the 31-yard line. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 40. Gain of nine yards. That makes it first and ten. Man left, man left. It's first and ten. Ball on the 40. Dumps it complete, the tight end over the middle. Brought down around the 49-yard line. good for a gain of nine yards. That'll bring up third and inches. So it's third down, and they're just inches away from picking up the first down. Three down, three down. Mike five, Mike five. Here we go. Green, 88. Green, 88. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. The defense was playing the run all the way, and they got it right. Nice work. That brings up fourth and three. resulted in a field goal and the offense will come back out looking to do one better Auburn up by a big margin and now he's got room to run the 50 inside the 30 to the 10 and there's another one that's his third trip to the end zone I know this defense prepared for his running ability, but even so, boy, he's had a great day. He makes the PAT. all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 24. Kickoff returns 24 yards. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Almost picked off. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 24-yard line. He's out of bounds at the 26. It could be that the offensive coordinator is trying to lure the secondary in to play more press coverage, and then they'll try to take advantage by going deep. Those safeties better be ready. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Not much of a contest here as we head into the final stanza. Auburn's got a huge lead.
Just about set to start the fourth quarter, mercifully. Makes it out to about the 37-yard line. Flag down, and I'm not sure Personal when foul. it was Flipping. thrown. Let's find out. Receiving team. That one's going to put him way so back. First, you just can't block a player from behind like that, or it's going to cost you. their own 22 yard line first down Auburn up big right now in this one he's to the 40 gets to around the 42 their own 42 yard line it's first down they'll bring him down at the 41 yard line that'll bring up second From their own 41 yard line. It's second down. Tries to thread the needle and it's not going to work. And he is drilled at the 49 yard line. You know, at that point, I think, Brad, the quarterback's just better off just taking a sack. You have to be very careful as you're feeling pressure to throw the ball just to throw the ball. If you feel like you're not going to be able to make a play and the defense got you, just give up on that play and get ready for the next down. And down he goes, right around the 42-yard line. Number 26 makes the tackle at the 42-yard line. That'll bring up third and two. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. Four down, four down. My five, my five, my five. He's taken down at the 35-yard line. Number five brings him down at the 35-yard line. First down. Hit immediately. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. It's second and nine. Ball on the 34 yard line. Oh, and he had some steam on that throw. Tackle at the 23. Number 19 brings him down at the 23 yard line. That makes it first and ten. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike five, Mike five. Now he's scrambling, and he can't get away from the pressure. Loss of five yards. That'll bring up second and fifteen. From the 28 yard line. Mike. Second down. Hey, number eight's coming. Number eight's Mike. Mike. Quads, quads, quads. Ready. Quads. 
Quick throw out to the receiver. He's tackled at the 25. Number 17 on the tackle at the 25-yard line. That brings up third and 12. It's the ninth play of the drive. It's intercepted, and who else? It's the senior safety. When it rains, it pours. Are you kidding me? An interception? You're already getting blown out? There's no chance to come back now. down. Got to be careful down here, deep in your own territory. Auburn in control. Quick throw to the tight end. He's tackled in the open field. Second and three. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Three down, three down. Check 59. And he's stopped behind the line. Tackles him in the backfield. Loss of one yard. That'll bring up 34. Tackles him hard at the 40-yard line. Besides going deep on the fade, the slant route is probably the most commonly run route against man coverage. If the receiver gets a good inside release, it'll be a new set of downs every time. From their own 40-yard line, first down. He fights forward to about the 43. Let's go. Call it a gain of three Let's yards. Go. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on the 43. Four down, four down. Check 59. Auburn Mike is winning big. Hand off, and he's met in the backfield. Third down. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Let's go, D. It's going to be a long day, offense. It's going to be a long day. Yeah. Check the yeah. nine, Mike. Mike is going to Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. From the 43 yard line, it's first down. Nice run to the outside. Second down, five to go. Ball on the 38. He's knocked out of bounds around the 37-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. That'll bring up third and four.
And this is the 11th play of the current drive. That's a great tackle at the 42. That's a loss of five yards. That'll bring up fourth and nine. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. Booming kick. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. And he's tackled at the 29. Number five with the tackle at the 29-yard line. That brings up second and one. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Mike five, Mike five. Here we go. Quick release. Oh, had it knocked down. That was a heads-up play by the corner, but it would have never happened if the receiver would have come back to the ball instead of waiting for it to fall into his lap. Nice run up the middle. That's good for a gain of five yards. That makes it first and ten. From their own 34-yard line. First down. Three down, three down. My five, my five, my five. Ready. There's the strike complete. He gets hit out of bounds. Around the 50-yard line. First down. Complete, and he's out of bounds. Call it a gain of 12 yards. First down. From the 38-yard line. First down. Mike five, Mike five. Throws complete, and he stopped immediately. Number 19 makes the tackle at the 31-yard line. That makes it second and two. Setting up blockers, the running backs got it on the screen, and they push him out at the 21-yard line. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. Here's the eighth play of the series. Fires it out to the tight end, and he's got the first. Brought down right around the four-yard line. Number 26 makes the tackle at the four-yard line. That makes it first and goal. First and goal from the four. They're knocking on the door. Taken down at the three-yard line. Gain of one on the play. That brings up second and goal. Tenth play of the drive. Roger, Roger. Fires the mic. Fires the mic. Come on. Just under three to go in regulation. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Here it is, folks. Third and goal from the two. Watch out for a pass play when you're in a goal line D. Now he's 
flushed and they got it. Man, these guys can be aggressive. When you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Here we go from the seven. It's fourth down. Hits him hard at the one. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injury. He's hit and taken down. Second and one. Short yardage situation here. Second down and one. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Just under two to go in the game. They hand it off. He's out to the 30. The 50. And a huge lead is about to get a little bit bigger. To the 20. And a huge touchdown play. Clock keeper just keep it moving for Kirk and I. William, we want to get out of here. Well, the offense is going to go for two, and at this point, I'm pretty sure that they just want to win this game by more than 100. They put everyone up on the line. They don't get it. up to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home, and Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservation. He steps out at the 29-yard line. Four yards. That makes it second and six. It's second and six. Ball on their own 29. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Here we go. Here's the throw to the fullback. Tackle made at the 39-yard line. That's good for a gain of 10 yards. First down. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Mike five, Mike five. Right. Right. Green 19. Green 19. Motion, motion, motion. Right. Cross is out to the tailback on the screen. They'll bring him down at the 46 yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Four down, four down. Mike five, Mike five. Here we go. Hot, wide 80. Wide. He fights forward to about the 49. 
Gain of three yards. That makes it first and ten. Back with a carry. And he carries the ball for a nice game. That's a gain of four on the play. That makes it second and six. Well, some backups got some playing time today, that's for sure. It's final. Auburn, 54, Miami, 14. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.